Right, the next question that I want to touch on is it says what it says what should Christian be doing at this time and I guess I'll start with you Reverend Reed um, well uh, that's an important question because the time that we are living in right now uh, it is sure that we are living in the last days as I said before there are no signs for the rapture of the church or when the church will be taken out of the world to be with God. But there are signs for the second coming of Christ. And already uh, there are events in place and things occurring that tells us that Christ's coming is soon, which means that the rapture will be taking place at any moment. Therefore, it's important for uh, those of us who are believers, who are Christians, to be very alert in the time that we are living in. And because we know that Jesus Christ is coming back very soon, of course, one of the significant things for Christians to be doing is to share in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, it says, Knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade man we know that christ is coming back soon and we know that when jesus returns that those who do not know him they're going to be facing judgment they're going to be facing eternal fire and this is not just uh, a figment of our imagination this is something that is very real and so those of us who are christians being aware of the second coming of the lord should really compel us to warn others and to tell others to turn their lives over to the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, the Bible also uh, warns us that in these days that we are living in, it would be like in the days of Noah. While Noah was preparing an ark for the saving of the people, the Bible says that the people were just behaving normally. They were marrying, giving into marriage, having a good time, and not being aware that judgment was soon approaching so as christians we don't want to make that mistake of not being alert and just going about our business just being caught up into the world caught up into the pleasures of the world and not focused on god and focus on the time that we are living in knowing that uh the, as the bible says it, it, it is high time to awake out of sleep because now is our redemption nearer uh, than we have thought so it's a time for Christians to be very much on the alert all right I don't know if anybody else want to elaborate on that point uh, Reverend Reed just mentioned yes um, as we know that uh, we are in the ninth hour and we are in the hour of finality and in this time we see sin is great on the earth and God has called us as his children, not just to get saved and to sit, you know, around in the church and, you know, do other things. God wants us to go out in the highways and the byways to declare his name and to win the lost. In Joel chapter 3 and verse 13, it says, put in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come, get down for the press is full. The fat overflow for their wickedness is great we've seen the wickedness that is happening on the land we've seen you know so many things that are happening around us you know even my attention was you know drawn to a particular you know media personality today one is stepping down but you know another one that they're trying to you know put up there it is worst you know, so we see that wickedness is great. And as children of God in this time, we have to rise up to declare the gospel. We have to rise up and stand up against sin and wickedness that's happening in our nations. You know, the great men in the old days, Daniel and all those men, they prayed when they saw things happening. They prayed. They went into prayer and fasting. They sought the Lord and things happened. So as children of God, we're living in a time where it's wicked and we are to rise up in fasting and prayer seek the Lord because the time is near Reverend Evans you want to add to that elaborate a little bit also okay um, based on the question asked um, what 
what should be Christians doing now this time and um, as Reverend Reed was saying about the time one of the greatest thing in the body of Christ you know the church is very much involved in terms of worshiping and the, the general church activities you know but one of the things that is missing as the Bible said that my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge and um, you know one of the areas that the church is most ignorant in is concerning the time you know, as, and as we learn that in this time we need to be in a state of awareness, alertness, and alarm. And, um, you know, the church emphasizes a lot on worship and spiritual growth, but there is very little said concerning prophecy and understanding the time. The Bible said in um, Jeremiah 8 verse 9, it said, The stalk in heaven know it are appointed times. It said, The turtle doves and the crane but my people knowing not the judgment of the Lord. So it's very important, you know, for believers to, you know, to seek God in order to know the time and to know what is ahead. Just like in Noah days when God was about to bring a flood upon the earth, Noah had knowledge of it. He was not ignorant of it. And it's no different for the believers now to be conscious and aware of the time and the things that are, that are about to come. And, you know, as we are on this Prophecy Summit, the ninth hour book, um, deals with this matter of understanding the time. There's so many things that are there as it pertains to the time and you know, things that are happening currently in, 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 in different world affairs, different catastrophes all over the world that is connected to the, nine, to the ninth hour. And you know, it's very important that we understand it just like how God revealed this. It's very important for the world to get a hold of what time we are in so once you know the time that you are in your behavior will fall in line just like if you know if Christ was gonna to come tomorrow morning you know you want to make sure that your life is right with God today so understanding the time has a lot to do with how you operate with how you behave what you do if you know the time you're gonna do things differently and the time is it's the ninth hour it's a final hour and all that we've seen happening gives gives evidence that you know the, the time of the Lord is near you know the rapture can be any time it's very near and even as Reverend Reed mentioned with the European Union being 27 nations 2 plus 7 9 and you know they chose a president just in 2009 European Union revised Roman Empire the year is, is earmarked for, for 